What's up guys and welcome back to yet another tutorial and in today's tutorial we're gonna make a slideshow in Luma Fusion. So let's jump right into Luma Fusion and create our first slideshow. <laughs> Once you open LumaFusion, the first thing you have to do is to open and make a new project. Once you made your new project, you simply go and find the photos or the videos that you want to add to this video. And a little tip before you start adding videos and photos and titles and transitions is to go into global settings and then you choose the duration of the photo, title and transition. So change the photo, title or transition to the desired length that you want on your photo. And I'm just gonna speed forward until I've added all the pictures that I want to add. And what I also forgot was to actually add the seven second length of the photos. So I'm just gonna change the duration of every single photo. Let me speed up. So once you're done adding all your photos or videos, the next thing you do is you go to titles and then you're gonna add a standard title. You can now change the title duration to seven seconds and we're gonna add titles. The next thing you do is simply clone the title Once the title is cloned, you go down to the first clip that you just added, the first photo or the first video, and then you clone these as well. So these photos or videos will apply on top of the text. So the next thing you do is you go into the first photo or video that you just added, and then you add some blur. Once you added the blur, you can simply copy the color and effects and you can apply them to every single clip which is on the bottom. So the next thing you do is you go to the first clip on the third layer and then you adjust the size of the photo or the video. Then you simply copy the setting and you apply it to the rest. Once you're done copying the adjusted size, you go into the first text layer, then you're gonna delete the text, and then you're gonna add a shape. You can also change the color of this shape. It doesn't have to be white like in my tutorial. It can be black, blue, yellow, pink, red, orange, whatever you feel like. So once you adjusted the bezels on the first clip, what I forgot to mention is that you don't have to duplicate the entire first layer of text. So what you actually have to do is, once you finish the bezels and the frame around your pictures, then you clone that text layer. So we're gonna clone it to match every single photo. And you can see now on some photos, the bezels is a little bit wider on the top and the bottom than other images. So what we do here is we resize it. So once you resized everything and you're happy with the bezels that you have on your photos, the next thing you do is to go to the first picture and you go to frame and fit. And here you create the animation of your slideshow. So we're just gonna add some frames and move it a little bit around. And then we're gonna copy the motion of this picture and we're gonna apply it to the white text layer. So once you copy it to the white text layer, the next thing you have to do is to scale it up to 100. And you do that on the first frame and you do that on the last frame or the frames that you made. And in some cases, the bezel need to be moved a little bit like in height or in width. So the only thing you do is you change the height and the width and you still copy the same motion movement from your photo file and then you paste it to your white bezel box. 
So the next thing you do is simply go to every other photo and then you change the look of the bezel and make sure that you copy the motion of the photo to the text layer which is underneath the same photo. And the next thing is always to adjust the size of the frame that you have around. And once you've done this to all your photos, you are basically done with the slideshow. So the next thing you can do, you can add some music to fit your slideshow and you can also add some simple transitions. I'm gonna add the dip transition to this tutorial. So once you added the dip transition to every single photo and at the end and at the beginning, the next thing you do is to render it and make sure to render it at maximum quality with 100 megabits per second and to 4K. So that's everything for that video guys. I hope you found the slideshow tutorial helpful. And I also want to give a big shout out to Numada Rodrigo for donating 1000 Japanese yen. Thank you so much for your donation. And also if you decide to help my channel out and help me out to make more awesome LumaFusion tutorials, there is a donation link in the description below. Go check that out. And if you want to become a Patreon, there is a Patreon link in the description as well. And for the next video, that will be a tutorial about how to make those awesome call-out titles that you saw in my previous video. And also, if you enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, push that notification bell, and give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next video for the call-out title tutorial. Peace!